Hello again and welcome to uh, my next uh, behind the scenes uh, gig video. Uh, today I'm going to be playing for a company called Maddox Systems Inc. And uh, I believe the, uh, the people that have hired me are just fans of the music that have heard me before. They've hired me for their company's 30th anniversary, which is really, really nice. Uh, so it's Saturday, it's a beautiful sunny day. We're gonna be playing outside in, uh, I guess, the uh, owner of the company's uh, backyard. Um, you can see that we are out uh, in the valley. This is South Langley and uh, heading towards the, uh, uh, the owner's uh, place where I'll perform. Um, it's uh, 3.30 now, we'll be per, I'll be uh, there by about 4 o'clock or a little earlier than that uh, to set up. I'll be set up by 5 o'clock and be playing from 5 o'clock until 8 o'clock. And then after that performance I'm going back to my parents' place which uh, is at the beach in Tawasson uh, for a big uh, Canada day uh, with friends from Australia um, back to a big uh, barbecue event that they're having at the house. So maybe if I get a chance I'll shoot a bit of video, video of that and you can see that as well. Uh, we'll see you at the venue at Maddox. So here I am pulling up to um, where the event's going to take place. All right, so this is the street where the event is going to be held. I have no idea <laughs> what's going on with all the balloons and so on, but this looks to be a pretty cool deal. Let's see if we can find the place here. There was a lot of people at this event. I believe about 170, 180 people. Maybe with everyone um, helping out, 200. So here's the entrance to uh, the Maddox home. Just a beautiful home, massive. And now I'm just unloading all my gear for the event. Previous to this, I just uh, quickly uh, um, gave the client a call to find out where he wanted me to set up. And for this event, I'm going to be going around to the backyard uh, to set up my gear. Uh, there's a, a stage, uh, which is sort of like one of these uh, parquet dance floors, where everyone's going to be sitting around, and that's where I'll be performing. So here I am rolling my cart into uh, the venue. Unfortunately, because uh, I'd have to go down some stairs to get to the backyard, what I'm doing is rolling my cart uh, down the grassy hill at the side of the house in order to uh, get all the gear down to where I'm going to be playing. So here I am rolling my gear down towards the back of the home. Uh, out in front of me is the money booth. We'll talk about that a little bit later. And here's where all the tents and everything are set up. It was just a fantastic day, so now, the tents weren't necessary, but in being in Vancouver out in the valley here, you never know. So I had to make my way around sort of the garden through some stairs, and here's the uh, parquet dance floor where I'll be setting up to uh, perform. These two speakers I'm putting out on either side of those stairs just to spread the sound out uh, to each side of the, uh, the yard. And there's my cart with my speaker stands. I'll take the speaker stands out of there in a minute. There I'm laying the cable carefully so no one will trip over it. Uh, I'm now taking my speaker stands out. I'm going to put a speaker behind where I'll be performing. There's the one stand going there at the back. And I'll have another speaker that's going to be further back as well to fill the sound within the tent. Massive tent as well. It extended the, uh, the length of the uh, backyard. And uh, beyond that was another tent for the kids. Now here I am just uh, uh, playing for the event. So there will be people sitting in the tent to my right and to my left and behind me. And in front of me is the, uh, uh, the terrace, which is a, a couple of different levels where people are gathered around. Uh, there's a, a bar there and, uh, and just a whole bunch of stuff going on everywhere.
So after performing for about an hour, uh, I took a break for speeches. Uh, the client was also doing a re reverse draw. This was kind of cool. Uh, they would draw out names from the, the loser's ticket to the winner's ticket, and the prizes were awesome. Um, first prize uh, for the first name being drawn was $500. That goes to the loser. <laughs> and after that, there were uh, every five names, there was somebody that would uh, win a prize. And once they got to the winner, the winner won $2,500. So that was pretty cool. So what you're seeing here is really cool. I've never seen this before, except for on the Ellen show. Um, there was a money booth uh, on the property and uh, people would have a certain amount of time to uh, just grab as much cash as they could. <laughs> so it was really neat. I had a friend of mine who had a son who was uh, in the booth and, and he grabbed about $100. Uh, and people were lined up for this booth. Um, what you just saw there was the, um, uh, the gymnasium in the home. Uh, then there's another picture of a, a money booth. Uh, here's everybody just up on the terrace, uh, either watching music or listening to, uh, to draws and so on. Uh, inside the house, just give you a, a little idea of what the home looked like. It was beautiful. There was a pool table downstairs. This is upstairs. Uh, this is a fireplace on the deck. And here we'll just uh, take a look at the view from the deck. And uh, here's where they were doing, uh, I believe it was the raffle this time, and you can see where people g gathered around. There's that parquet floor that I'm playing on. I was just set back a little further on the floor. And uh, here's the view of uh, the valley from this home. Uh, just a fantastic view of the mountains, and uh, the landscape was really, really nice. Uh, here's these little balloon guys, or big balloon guys. And now I'm hauling my gear uh, out of the venue so uh, the venue's over I'm packed up it was a rough job hauling it up uh, pushing my cart up the the grass hill thank goodness I've got uh, big tires on my cart with uh, air in them there's a reason why I've got that cart this is pretty cool one of these little boys were uh, uh, they were all driving around in these um, battery operated motorcycles and cars a few of the kids it's kind of neat and here I am back in my truck uh, uh, loading up after the gig, you can see the cart, they're full of gear, so I'll throw all that uh, back into the into the vehicle. So aside from playing for, for three hours, there's a lot of work to be done uh, as a freelance guitar player. Uh, it's not just about playing guitar, um, loading up uh, or unloading, setting up uh, the gear and uh, tearing it all down and loading it back in, into the vehicle, hauling it around. There's quite a bit to be done. That big case is my case with my cables and uh, a lot of the PA uh, gears in there, the cart of course. And uh, then there's a power amp that uh, I'll throw on top of that. Got my clothes and my, uh, my chair that I always bring just in case there's an uncomfortable chair to use when I'm playing. A few stands. And there's a, a bunch of CDs. Um, I was going to uh, give the client, as part of the contract, uh, a few CDs as well. So I'm now heading back to the backyard and just giving the CDs to an event coordinator. And now heading back to the truck. You can see another one of the, the cool uh, vehicles that some of the kids are driving. And I'll get back in the truck and away I go. Well, that's it. What a cool gig. And uh, it was a lot of fun. And, uh, what a gorgeous place. It was really cool. Anyways, to the beach.